Anytime you can make your motion graphics loop, it's just so satisfying to watch. So I wanted to push the boundaries of regular motion graphic loops and create something out of the box. So let's break down these three looping motion graphic projects and let's get started. Alrighty, we're gonna create these looping rings first. To start off, you must type out a long title like this and feel free to add other design elements like these lines above and below your text. Make sure you create a solid layer for your background. Once you have your elements that stretch from both sides of your composition, create an adjustment layer and add the motion tile effect from the stylized effects. The motion tile effect will allow us to seamlessly animate the title to scroll by forever. To do this, Alt click the stopwatch for tile center and type open bracket time asterisk 100 comma space value open bracket one close bracket close bracket. If done correctly, your title will scroll on forever. You can also just keyframe the tile center, but you know, that's just basic. Okay, now select everything and go to layer pre-compose. Call it placeholder text and click okay. Now go into the previous composition and go to composition settings. Change the height to 125 and you know, that's it. Go back to the main composition and pre-compose the placeholder again. You can call this loop ready or job of the hut. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now we'll apply the CC cylinder effect from perspective and we'll also apply the drop shadow effect as well. With the CC cylinder effect, you can adjust rotation values here, but make sure you set the render to outside. It may also be wise to adjust some of the light settings to make your graphics stand out more. With the drop shadow effect, just set the softness to 100. Now we can duplicate our loop and set the bottom layer's render setting from outside to inside. Now that we're set up for success, you can duplicate both of these assets and move them over. Then just change the rotation properties of the duplicate loops and that should connect into a full graphic like this. Just make sure the rotation settings are exactly the same on both layers. And feel free to expand on this graphic to add in more loops but this should loop on forever. Let's take a look at this next loop and this one's actually much simpler than the previous technique and this will also loop forever. Okay, to properly set this up, create a regular 1920 by 1080 composition and create three title graphics that are rotated by 90 degrees like this. Also, make sure that they're evenly separated as well and most importantly, create a solid layer for the background but once you're ready, you can pre-compose these elements and call it content. Now we'll apply the CC cylinder effect just like in our previous example. We can angle this by setting the rotation Z to 90 degrees and the rotation X to negative 35 degrees Celsius. Then all click the stopwatch for rotation Y and type time, asterisk 50 or any number value. Now your cylinder will rotate. However, we have to fix this unwanted gap. So we'll create a 1080 by 1080 solid layer and then double click the ellipse tool. Now you can pre-compose this layer and call it side. Then just make the layer a 3D layer and set the Y rotation to about 48 degrees, then scale and position this layer into place. We're not going for perfect mathematical settings, but it just needs to look like it's in the right place. And if you want to animate the side to rotate with the cylinder, just all click the stopwatch for Z rotation and type time asterisk negative 50. So now if you decide to add something inside of your side composition, everything will properly rotate in the final comp. And that looks pretty cool. Speaking of creating really cool motion graphics, if you need to push your After Effects and Premiere Pro work to the next level, be sure to pick up our creative motion graphic packs where you can instant import titles, logo animations, and many other cool templates to save you endless time. You can easily change colors, text, and all parameters to fit your project needs. And be sure to check out the link below to pick up your free pack and all the templates that we have. Okay, back in this thing for our third and final seamless loop graphic, we're gonna create these bands. So similar to our first technique, I have a title, background, and the motion tile effect thing. Once you're ready, pre-compose it all and call it Band-Aid. Then go back into the composition and go to composition settings. I'm going to close the width down to 1250 and the height to 250. Your settings may vary, but make sure that there's no open space around your titles and graphics. When you're done, go back to your main composition. So now we just have to distort this layer. To do this, I'll add the mesh warp effect from distort. Set the rows to two, the columns to five, and the quality to 10. Now we have to manually distort the layer. So select each of the three side points and drag them up like this. Then select one point at a time and smooth out the curve by dragging the handles over. Do this for each point, and when you're done, do this process for the other side as well. 
Just pause this video and look at how this is laid out. Lastly, add the drop shadow effect and set the opacity to 100 and the softness to 250. Duplicate this layer and rotate it by 180 degrees and just reposition it to look like it's attached from the other side. If done correctly, your animation should look like this. Now you can duplicate these and rotate them in pairs. And if you want, you can create a null object and parent all the layers to the null, then animate the rotation of the null object to seamlessly animate the loops. So there's three seamless loops in After Effects and always be creating.